In this video, we state the normal equations. Normal, in this case, meaning at a right angle to So let's recall the situation we are in. We are looking at a matrix equation, AX equals B, that doesn't have solutions. And we are trying to come close to being a solution. Not having solutions is the same as saying that this vector is not in the column space. So we project the vector orthogonally onto the column space. This is all based on a theorem we've stated previously that the orthogonal projection is the vector in the, well, in the subspace closest to the original vector. Least squares solutions are solutions to this matrix equation where B has been replaced with the orthogonal projection of B onto the column space. And the hope is that if these two vectors are close, then anything that is a solution to this is close to being a solution to the original equation. Okay, so that's the setting we're in. And we've stated a few reasons why we'd rather not actually do all the steps involved in this. For example, to do this, we'd need to find a basis of the column space. And then we need to perform the Gram-Schmidt process to, um, to make that basis orthogonal so we can actually do the projection. So here's an alternative line of thought. This vector is B minus B hat. And B minus B hat is orthogonal to the column space. It is in the orthogonal complement of the column space. So say that A1 up to An are the columns of A. Well, 
if this vector is orthogonal to the column space, it's certainly orthogonal to this spanning set of the column space. That is to say, for every one of these vectors, this dot product is zero. And an alternative way of thinking of the dot product is that the dot product is essentially the product of the transpose of this vector with this vector. I say essentially, I mean, suppose we have the vector one, two, three, and the vector zero, one, two. We take the dot product two, six, zero. It's eight. If we multiply the transpose of this vector, by this vector. This is a matrix. This is a matrix. The dimensions match. This product is defined. It's the matrix containing eight, the one by one matrix. But that that little distinction doesn't bother us. The vector space of one by one matrices is isomorphic to the vector space of real numbers. So we'll just think of these as being the same. And Remove that as a potential distraction. What this tells us is that A transpose times B minus B hat equals the zero vector. This is a row of this. So, um, remember that this was the this was the ith column of A. So it's the i row of a hat. And when you multiply a matrix by a vector, you take the rows, you multiply component-wise, and you add them together. That's a dot product. And this is telling us that these dot products are equal to zero. These products are equal to zero. All of these rows times this vector b minus b hat, they all equal zero. So the entire product equals 
equal is zero. So here's what we've got so far. And now let's remind ourselves, we're looking at least squares solutions and X tilde is a least squared solution if a X tilde equals B hat. So X tilde to be a least square solution must equal B hat. And we get a transpose times B minus A X tilde equals the zero of X. A transpose B minus A transpose A X tilde equals the zero vector. A transpose B equals A transpose A. Tilde. And don't let all of these symbols and stuff confuse you. This is a least squares solution. A transpose A is just some matrix. A transpose B is just some vector. Least squares solutions are precisely the solutions to the normal equation. Again, normal here as in perpendicular, not the opposite of abnormal. And you can then just solve this equation. No orthogonal projection necessary, no Gram-Schmidt process necessary. I mean, the orthogonal projection is going on in the background, but you don't actually have to do it in order to find least squares solutions.